This is going to be building the eBay for the rocket. In the eBay, you're going to need the four bulkheads, and they're different sizes. And if you stack them up, you'll see that one's slightly bigger than the other. And these are going to be glued together, um, but they're not going to be glued to the coupler. And this is the coupler. They should just nest inside. Um, this ring here is going to be glued on the outside of the tube like that. Um, you can find the middle of this, and it, there's my ruler. Uh, so I got eight inches, so I'll mark it at four inches. And you can just slide this on. Since I can see through, I can line up my lines. And I'm just going to draw a line around the outside here. And the reason for that is that's where I'm going to put epoxy to glue that in place. And I need to scuff that up too. While I'm scuffing things up, I also need to scuff up one side of each of these because these are going to be glued together. And sometimes there's a little burr on the, uh, on the bulkhead where the, the hole was made. So just take an X-Acto knife and you can cut that off so that it's nice and flat. Okay, now I'm going to sand, so time to put on the particle mask again. And we're just going to sand one side, just scuff it up. And then we want to scuff up the inside of this and the outside of that. Time to mix up some epoxy. Okay, now on these you want to make sure you get two of unequal size. And these are going to be bonded together with the scuffed up sides facing each other. So basically you just need to butter one side and it doesn't need to be thick. And then put them together. And just take one of your eye bolts and well, it's a little tight on this hole. I just want to center them up together so we know that they are centered. And you can put a screw on there to tighten it down. And then just make sure to check the edges so that any epoxy that oozes out gets wiped off real quick. Because once it's glued up, you know, this it becomes the little shoulder that aligns it on the tube like that. Okay, now we're going to uh, bomb this on. So spread some epoxy right between your on the tube.
it did ooze out, so make sure to wipe that off. You have, if you have some acetone around, that would that really helps take off some of the excess epoxy, but you got to be careful using it.